Hey, Candy. Ah, uh, what is it, Cotton? How do you feel about cats? Is that a trick question? Okay, how do you feel about old cats? Like old man cats? No, like prehistoric cats! Oh, well, I think that- It doesn't matter what you think, Candy, because now we have gameplay! Then why did you even ask me in the first place? Well, I'd like to hear myself talk. Alright, look everyone, I know it's Barry off, but come on! Get excited, because if there is one thing that has happened to the returning monsters for Iceborne, so far, it is that they are just getting better and better and better, and honestly, the greatest thing of all to me is how much they just look more like themselves than they ever have in the past, and in some cases, arguably even act more like themselves. Today, I'm going to show you why I think that Berioth is going to be incredible in Iceborne through this new gameplay we have received. First off then, before we get to the specifics of the monster in question, this gameplay video actually showed a new area of the Horfrost Reach. As you can see from referencing the mini-map, they are climbing upwards from the Tyrex Ice Platform falling area to an area that has been blocked off in every iteration of the game that we have seen so far. And most importantly, these areas look just fantastic. They are gorgeous and they look functional as monster fighting zones as well. A great success! When it comes to the monster himself, the most instantly notable thing on the screen is that Barioth is just absolutely beautiful. You're beautiful. Like, no doubt in my mind, I would pet that cat. Who cares if he would probably rip my head off? He looks so soft that it would be worth it. But actually, not just the softness of the fur, but how detailed his spikier bits are now, it's just, it's fantastic. Like, you can just see how sharp his claws actually are. And being able to actually properly make out the lines on his fangs and such is just great. Like, honestly, this alone elevates Berioth to new heights for me, but that is before we even talk about the most exciting part of all of this, the con Combat. Now, I only noticed one actual move that I would refer to as new, though it is more of a combo animation than a move itself. World Baryoth does his little tail coil that he's always done in the past, but in World he uses a super fluid motion to turn it into an air takeoff, which just allows him to combo a ground and air attack together pretty effectively and effortlessly. But aside from that, there are actually a number of ways that this new World Baryoth is the same fight you remember him to be. We're not so different, you and I. He still has the majority of the same attacks from the old world, but the way that he seems to implement them here is significantly different. For example, check out this attack, where Barioth latches onto the wall. Looks a lot like a world monster, doesn't he? This is the perfect example of a world engine mechanic improving an old returning monster by just allowing it to do something that it always should have been able to do. And honestly, I love it every time I see a returning monster jump on a wall. But even bigger than this, do you remember how old world Barioth did a lot of just sitting around and staring at you in between attacks? When he looks at me. Well, that part of Berioth is all a thing of the past. On first glance, it would appear that Berioth is actually a fair bit faster here because he's lost this mechanic just completely. However, a number of his attacks actually seem to have a touch of wind up still in them, just inbuilt as a movement mechanic that's part of the animation rather than just making him pause in between attacks. So even if the time between attacks is the same overall, it feels like a significantly more fluid fight than I ever thought we could get out of Barry off. Look at this pounce, for example. It's a simple extra motion to the attack before it happens, but watch how he positions his feet. It looks like an actual decision decision made to increase the strength of the pounce, and it gives you plenty of warning that the attack is about to happen. And on top of that, little animations like this, sprinkled throughout the fight as a whole, add up to my main argument here. Monster Hunter World Iceborne's Berioth is finally his own monster. With his environments, his, his skeleton, and his aggression reminding everyone of Tigrex always, who's already a fan favorite, and his cat pseudo-wyvern basis already being done wonderfully by Nargakuga, who is also a fan favorite. Berioth has always struggled for his own identity, but I honestly think that in the world engine, Berioth has been given exactly that. He actually feels like a saber-toothed tiger specifically, like the pounce that I mentioned. It looks so much like a saber-toothed tiger would do that. Nargo wouldn't move like that, Tigrex wouldn't move like that, a saber-toothed tiger, and therefore Berioth should move exactly like that. I'm telling you guys, I may not have fought him yet myself, but I have this glaring feeling that Berioth might just earn the title of most improved returning monster in Iceborne. He looks 
looks so much better than before and he is developing the perfect personality for him, now accented by much more detailed animations and much more detailed graphics. In my opinion, things are looking up for our furry friend here and what more can you ask from a returning monster? All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur and this has been gameplay of Barioth who totally didn't bribe me to say nice things about him. Did I miss any new things in the gameplay video? Are you guys as excited as I am to fight him in the new world? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love, so let's start with something simple and say, oh, we love your eyes. When they're watching us play video games, we make a bunch of jokes that are kinda lame. And when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia. Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here, talking about the things you want to hear. So if you want to be the first to hear, like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer. Some of you are patrons, even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros. There's nothing we can do to thank you. No, really, there's nothing. Nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.